What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now I know I'm a little late because uh, I told you guys I was going to do the tech news uh, yesterday, which is was Monday. But uh, wifey got sick, so I took all day to take care of her, pamper her and all that. So, let's get down to it. AI driving technology into the future. AI have he, to have human touch. Now, few things on this. Technology is growing so fast that we can't even keep up with it. And to have to say that AI is going to drive technology into the future. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Got some coffee. Coffee is good for you. Remember that, guys. But uh, we'll see. I don't like. I can see AI being a big part in uh, businesses and uh, possibly 3D imaging and a few other things, but to, to say that it's going to be the full driving force to the, into the future. It's a big stretch, considering that there's other new technologies out there. So, I don't know. But, human touch? What the hell does that mean? What, is the AI going to be touching people? They need fingers to touch somebody? Like, I don't know. Maybe they're talking about human thinking and all that good stuff, but AI already got that. Some of it, anyways. Or oh, maybe they talking about emotion, AI emotions. You know, AI having human emotions. But fuck if all that, I mean, you might as well build Frankenstein. Frankenstein had all that. If you guys read the book. But in the movie, he didn't have so much of that. Boss is peering into Walker's brain. Hiring done by automation created by an AI uh, personality test. People with disability may be overlooked. Federal employment regulators paying attention. Their goal is to take human thinking and feelings and turn it into puzzle pieces. Yeah, I said that. U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission got the sin of what some companies are doing and put guidelines in for it. Now... I think this is a bad idea. One, because they're going to overlook a lot of people has skills. And, you know, I'm, you know, I'm one of them. I may have speech impairment, but, you know, I still do what I do. I don't, I don't let it keep me back from doing what I want to do. And, you know, that's that's how it should be. It doesn't matter what kind of disability you got. You should be able to do what the fuck you want to do. Sorry about the language. So...
that's going to hurt in that area. Because disability can be meaning anything. There could be something wrong with your limbs, missing a limb, your hands or feet don't work right, legs, arms don't work right, mind don't work right, eyes don't work right, can't smell too good, can't heal, you know, speech impediment, that was just anything, okay, anything. And, and a lot of these people got the brains, right, to go to college because they are critical thinkers like me. And they are not, and when they do, when, if they get to this point where they got to do this kind of test, They are going to look and they're going to be like, okay, well, this guy has got such and such. Oh, well, maybe oh, this guy said this and that. Well, maybe he doesn't have the right skill set. Or he or she doesn't have the right skill set. Skill set. And in the end, they passed up a very good candidate because they do get that skill set. And that's why, that's, that's what U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission is worried about. That they will pass these type of people up that does have the right skill set that will be a good factor in the business or change the business. And that's why they put the guidelines in it. Say, hey, no matter what kind of condition these guys are in, guys or girls are in, you got to give them the equal opportunity just like everybody else. But and then, then the thinking and feeling turning into puzzle pieces. Okay. They are human beings. They are not a damn jigsaw puzzle. Quit treating people like objects and start treating people like human beings. Maybe then the workplace would be very, very good. Improve all that good stuff. See me, I walk out the Renaissance Hotel and I'm just a puzzle piece still. I'm just an object. I tried to move up, couldn't move up. So, and then it shows you how people can think. When you good at something that you do, you howled on it, howled into it. And they see that you're good at the position that you do and that you're not blowing smoke up their asses. Then they would not want to move you from that position because they know that you're good at what you do. And it's a sad fact. And then, you know, and it's, it's not everywhere. It's not everywhere. But it's a good majority. <coughs> hey, it's a good majority. <coughs> Sebastian. Hold on, guys. Hey, Sebastian. It's bad, bad. Hey. He hears people talking downstairs. He crazy. 
But, anyways, like I was saying, it's not ever well. But it's good. Sebastian! There we go. He finally laid back down. Crazy dog. Crazy doggy. Well, I was, anyways, back to what I was saying. It's not every well. But it's a good, and it's not every hotel, but it's a good majority of hotels that does that. And I'm not just calling, and I'm not calling anybody. I'm not calling a hotel. I'm not calling, I'm not doing none of that. I'm just saying, don't be a puzzle piece. Don't be stuck. You're not an object. You're a human being. And if you need to move on, then find something else. Because there's a lot more better paying jobs than what most of the most of us is doing. And they will re reward you of your hard work with a promotion or raise. Uh, you know, I've been there, been there for five years. I only got one raise. Oh, actually, I've been there for almost six years. Six years be April. You know, and I only got one raise. And zero promotion but they love me to death over there like they give me much respect over there and i love my peers and the people i work with and my managers it's just sad that the executive managers and it's not it's not their fault because there wasn't people were able to train them. Anyways, back to the news. But let that let, let that sink in guys. We are not objects. We are not jigsaw puzzles. We are human beings. And if you feel like you're being used as an object or a jigsaw in a jigsaw puzzle, then maybe it's best if you move on. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman said on ABC News that he is scared of what AI can affect the workforce wrongfully used in cyber attacks. <clears throat> So, he's worried about the, you know, hackers or inside jobs. Well, employees doing inside jobs. Using the AI to hack into the system and cyber attack people. And, <laughs> excuse me, with the AI and all that, which... Good Lord, if that happens, <laughs> it ain't gonna be very good because AI will just demolish everything. Like, bye bye files, bye bye personal information, you know. Because AI came a long way and it's still growing. Are we ready to see something like in the Fifth Element movie or, uh, I don't know. I can't think of any other sci-fi movies right now. But no. No, we're not. No. But... Is it possible to see that? I don't know. I don't know. We have to wait and see. 
But Sam Sam has the right to be scaled because that this if if, if, if if this does happen, it's gonna be all bad. So gaming. So excuse me. <coughs> so I know excuse me. I know I did gaming news a few days ago on my channel. Check it out. Also, speaking about my gaming channel, I've been doing Elder Scrolls series. So, check that out. I'll put my gaming uh, channel in the description below. So, mosey on over there when you guys get the chance. And I see... And I see you guys over there. Anyways, back to the news. I almost wrapped it up, but I had more. So. <laughs> Gaming PC this time for the news. HP flash, flash sales from just $250. That's right. HP is having a flash sale that's starting at $250. HP Chromebook 14 200, $250 was $310. HP Laptop 14 $270 was $450. HP Laptop 17 $300 was $500. HP Victus 15L Gaming Desktop $530 was $830. HP NVX 360T 2-in-1 Laptop $570 was $850. So for those of you HP fanboys and fangirls, there you go. HP is having a flash sale. Price hat almost damn near half cut on some of these. You're welcome, HP. I Neo, is it I Neo? I Neo 2 is here and that performs the Steam Deck. The design is the same, but adds more performance according to IGN. So, The design, if you ever, if you guys ever had the iNeo one, which I never did, I never had the Steam Deck or iNeo, but the design of one and two is the same. Um, I don't, I never know what to do with these damn hands. I'm just flopping them around, like you know. Anyways. It outperforms Steam Deck, meaning if you guys want something better than the Steam Deck, there you go. Uh, I didn't catch the price, but I hold it's a little expensive. Alienware Dell Dell's Alienware Arua all fifteen. Has been redesigned for more performance. It delivers 58% CPU performance with a 19% more airflow with 5C drop. All good, but well does it breathe. I was looking at the revamped pictures of well pictures of the revamp. Uh what was it? All fifteen? Yeah. We I was looking at I already forgot already, shit. <laughs> I was looking at the pictures of the revamped all fifteen. And they didn't they didn't show no side 
like the side panels, they didn't show that. All they showed was the back of it, the front of it, the insides where the cables is, and the and other insides where the motherboard and all that is. Put in two extra fans or three extra fans, whatever, and up, uh, Revamping the heat sink. That's all good. Of course it's going to get more airflow. Because you got more fans, dummy. But you still... It's still pushing hot air. Because the only ventilation... Like I, like I said, I didn't see the side panels. But the only ventilation that they have is in the front. And that's good and all. I mean, at least it's breathing somewhat. But I don't see where the air goes out. I mean, yeah, it, it exhausts out the back. But the only place that the air can go in is in the front. And I do believe they put fans in the front now, which is a good thing. But but come on, guys, you're talking about maybe that much airflow around the front, like going in the oval shape. That is not a lot. That's not a lot. I would have, if, if, if I, if I was, and I didn't see no top beetle, I didn't see the top beetle, but if I was down, I would have, I would have at least made airflow on, in the top, or on the sides, or something. I wouldn't just put more fans in. It's just crazy. Just crazy, guys. Uh, but I'll, uh, I'll have to look more into that and let you guys know. Um, but that's it. But that's about it for, that's it for the news. Make sure you check out my other channels. I'll put them in the description. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Don't miss nothing. Uh, I probably won't have time to do a show, a tech show today, but I'll try to do one tomorrow. And I'll catch you guys later.